of uh, the Express. Uh, according to a new report, millions of people have no chance of getting a decent pension and f face a retirement in uh, poverty. That's all a bit depressing. And a uh, picture of uh, Kate, uh, Duchess of Cambridge there, uh, the waxwork actually, over which we brought to you yesterday. Quick look at the Times and the Telegraph. as a front page of uh, the Times as we've been hearing in our news this morning, looking ahead to these new tax credits that will come into effect tomorrow and the fact that families going to, or some families at least, are going to uh, lose out quite heavily, it seems. Meanwhile, the Daily Telegraph, uh, kind of worrying story in some respects. It seems as if uh, the CIA over in the United States has been withholding information uh, which could be crucial to Britain's intelligence and the way they deal with uh, with possible terror attacks because they're fearful that their sources uh, might be uh, revealed within British courts. Uh, so, Victoria, yes. um, have you got your Easter eggs yet? Well, no. I eat them all the way through the year. Do you? Kind of. Well, there are Weird. some are available all the way <laughs> right. through the year. Okay. Seems, oh yes, I see, I see, I see. Yes, I, I see what bought you're one for my two-year-old the other day, a little tiny one yes. that would normally be about 80p. And it was one pound seventy three. So I know what you're going to say. Yeah, um, it's a shocker. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so shocked about this. I mean, we know that fuel petrol, uh, petrol's gone up, and, and gas bills and electricity bills, and we we, we knew about that. But Easter eggs have gone up two hundred percent in one year. So I'm, I was trying to find out the reasons why. This is mentioned in the Mail and a couple of other papers. Um, apparently, there is a potentially a global cocoa bean shortage, mostly grown in the Ivory Coast. Been, there's been a drought there, so there's a potential shortage. There's also an increase in demand from China for Easter eggs. I'm afraid I don't know why there should suddenly be that increase in demand, but there is. Which means that, for example, so I'll give you one example. Sainsbury's a year ago, a Cadbury cream egg medium, so a normal Easter egg size, a year ago was one pound. This year it's three pounds. Same egg at Tesco a year ago was one pound, now it's two pounds fifty. So that's outrageous that there's I, no control well, over this that is what, sort of price leap, isn't it, really? Well, it's the market, isn't it? I suppose, yeah. you know, su uh, supply and demand. Tesco say uh, offers in our store mean that the average prices of many of our eggs have actually fallen. Uh, however, chocolate is only part of the overall cost, and in some cases, transport and packaging have become more expensive. So, so you can see, you know, transportation of, of goods, mm. petrol, diesel and so on, that's why... It's added the price there. Packaging, I don't know why that would be more expensive, but anyway. Oh, you do get the overall it's footage that we're, we're being stitched up in this country. Yeah, unfair so it's hike, uh, price hike. What else yeah. have you got, Victoria? If I were to ask you what invention do you think topped the poll of women when it comes to the best invention of the last century? Hair straighteners. Push-up bra. <laughs> Speaking from push-up bra. Actually, that came joint second. Seriously, did it really? That came joint second. I was just speaking from experience. Of course, the best invention, according to a poll of women, was of course the contraceptive pill, which uh, totally transformed women's lives. It meant they had the freedom to choose when they could have children and how many children to have. But uh, you're right. Joint second, the push-up bra and the washing machine, which shows the split in the in the age of women that were asked. It was the younger generation who mentioned cleavage enhancing braziers and older generation of women who said the washing machine which was first introduced in 1937 and there will be women alive today who remember you know washing day that back breaking over the sink and so the introduction of the washing machine was liberating i remember my nana and my auntie yeah, absolutely. washing it all by hand yeah hard work one more yeah <laughs> uh, i don't have nothing to add to that no, yeah okay. one more i've got time for one more okay, <laughs> um, two days ago, a woman called Samantha Brick wrote an article in the Daily Mail uh, entitled, Why Women Hate Me for Being 